Good morning there folks. I'm going to show off a quick demo here of a Red Lion G304 Cadet HMI talking via Modbus TCP out of this here Ethernet cable right here. Coming over the green cable over here to a Turk FDNL, uh, actually uh, FDN, yeah, F F G E N uh, XSG16 station, which means it's got multiple inputs and outputs per point. And so you can see in this little demo that I happen to have a Turk inductive proximity sensor right here. You can see the station right now is running through a demo that's being executed over here on the actual cadet. If you look at the screen, there's the LEDs changing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to turn off the little blink demo by clicking this button right here. Should stop that. Stops the blink demo right there. And let's say that I manually would like to run some I.O. I can go here to the simple I.O. logic. And now what is happening if I fire the inductive proximity sensor right here, notice the easy light on that particular input. If I put this in front of here, you see the easy light goes on, and you can see the LEDs down below here indicating the input on one side and the output on the other. That's just some simple IO logic here. So if you also look at the screen, when I do it right here, at the screen, let me get where the glare is not there. You can see it on the screen as well, showing up there, the two top LEDs. If I turn off that feature, and let's just say that I want to do a blinker of IO 14 and 15, I can click right here, and you can see the LEDs are blinking right there on the screen. And if I go over to the actual station, you can see the same points happening right there. And then last, if I go ahead and turn this off, and let's say I'd like to manually control the IO, I can go right here, and now I can manually turn on the IO points by simply touching on the screen point like that brings up this control and if I turn on here I can actually see the LED here and if I go over here to the station if I turn it off at the exit or that's the other one turns it off turn that one off let's say I manually want to turn on this point here which I believe is connected to IO point number looks like number 9 and 10 on the station so I go over here exit and I think it's going to be this one right here let's see here now if I go over here I'm off again. Hold on here, guys. Uh, that's number 16. Let's go to this one. Maybe it's this guy here I'm looking at here. Let's try again. Ah! Which one am I doing there? It's the opposite of that one. It's this one over here. There we go. And I can manually turn on that particular output there from the station. If I turn on the other one, I should get the red. And if I turn on both of these outputs here, this particular easy light from Banner does blinky blinky when both are on. And then I'll turn it off. Go back to my screen. There I am. And let's say I want to exit from here. So I'll just go here to back to the home menu on this guy. And if I go back and click just the blinky demo, everybody likes blinky blinky. There's blinky blinky. And over here, you can see blinky blinky. And the flicker you see here is when that particular IO point right here happens to be caught just for a second. So we have Ethernet uh, connection here. This particular station from Turk supports Modbus TCP, Profinet, and Ethernet IP on the same product, which is a really cool station. We just have power coming in here. That's all. Output connected here. Little inductive sensor here. Ethernet cable. The daisy chain in and out. Goes back to our G304 cadet through a crossover cable. And it's plugged into the Ethernet port on the cadet, as you see right here. And there's the little screen demo cranking along. Pretty cool. Anyway, got any questions, uh, give your local ADC representative a call. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.